What is up, guys? It is Mercifies here, bringing you another Java lesson tutorial here, whatever you want to call it. And um, today we're going to be going over the math method in Java. Now, the math method is a method that's automatically included in Java, so you you can you can call upon it in a different way. Uh, you don't have to import it, which is which is good. And um, yeah, so we're going to take a look at what the math method really is the math method we'll change that this is the math method anything that has math dot and then whatever follows it is in the math method you can call upon it without having to import anything like some certain utilities you have to import and then let's say java dot util dot star that's uh, that's an import you don't have to do that with the math method. Um, now, the math method is used to represent, I would say, buttons on a calculator. So you have your your e, your um, natural number, your pi number, absolute value, square root, exponent, or raise it to a power. You can get to find the max value between two numbers, the smallest integer that is um, equal to or greater than the argument uh, it just makes sense uh, you got your random function you have your uh, round oh you have and then you have what's called casting is uh, well this is not casting this is rounding but if you wanted to make if you had an int and you tried to bring it to a double you'd have to cast that number Rounding is also referred to as casting. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, but I'm fairly positive rounding is the same thing as casting. Well, basically, casting is changing it from an int to a double or a double to an int. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This is all your math method items. So we're going to take that and we're going to create a new class called math practice. Open it up. Delete the garbage. Put in your main public static void main string args. And then we're going to start off with creating a new int. So we're going to start off creating int a equals 1. Okay. Now, we're actually we're going to create a double b equals 0 okay now if I want to create a random number I'm going to use um, I'm going to use b because doubles random numbers come up as doubles okay that's just so if I wanted to system out print line create a random number here this number would come up as a double okay now you might be asking why is the number uh, less than one if I compile it again it's also going to be less than one again less than one why is it less than one well there's a range on this math random if you add to math random you are adding to the minimum value you can get so if I wanted to change the min minimum value from zero I wanted to change that to one I would add one to math random the maximum value you have to multiply by so you have to kind of get an idea of a range that you want. So if I want to range from 1 to, let's see, 1 to like, let's say, I think it's 1 to 4. It should come up as 1 to 4. There we go. Let 
Get three. Two, yeah. So that's one to four. That's how the range goes. It's kind of it's kind of wonky, but you gotta get used to it. That's just how it is. Now, another useful thing is the bringing um, and a number to raising a number to a power. To do that, you have to do math dot pow, and then your parentheses. You want your base number, so whatever the base number is going to be that you're gonna raise. So I'm gonna have my base number be two. I'm gonna raise two to the second power. So the second number, you have to have a comma, a space, and then a second number. That second number is what you're raising the original number to. So if we check that out, compile it, run it, we get four. Now again, <laughs> I just quit out of that. That was good. Um, again, the number comes out as a double. This is just how the math method works. If you want to make the number an integer, so instead of it coming out as 4.0, I want it to come out as 4, you have to cast that number. And casting a number is doing this. You have to put int in parentheses in front of the number, the thing you're casting. So we're casting the math pow and you have to put int in front. Compile it. And now we have a whole number instead of a decimal number. You can do this with random numbers and uh, this is also how you round. But there is a there's a there's a problem there's a problem to rounding with int. Um, I don't really want to get into that right now. I'll probably get into that in a later video. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This is the math practice. You know how it is. We're gonna get we're gonna continue it. You know we're gonna keep incorporating them, and then I'm just gonna incorporate other features as well. So we're not just featuring math stuff for the next few lessons. That's all I gotta say. Subscribe, guys. Comment. I'll see you in the next video.